Let us try to understand how to find out the point of contract shear in case of the overhanging beam as shown over here. So it is carrying the UDL over the entire span length of 6 meter and a point load at the end. So first step is always to find out the reactions RA and RB. So we will apply the conditions of equilibrium that is summation of Fy is equal to 0. Upward forces are considered as positive and downward forces they are considered as negative. So RA is acting in the upward direction. RB is also acting in the upward direction. The UDL is 20 kN per meter. That is for 1 meter length, the load is 20 kN. Now this UDL is present over 6 meter length. So 20 into 6 is the total UDL load. This point load is of 10 kN magnitude. So therefore RA plus RB is equal to 130 kN. Now we will take the moment about this particular point. That is point A. And we will start with this RB. So RB will produce the anti-clockwise moment about A. So minus RB and from B to A the perpendicular distance is 4 meter. So minus RB into 4. Then this UDL is of the magnitude 20 into 6 that we have already seen and it will be acting at the center of this particular So here it will be 20 multiplied by 6 and it will be acting at the center of this length. So this length will be equal to 3 meter. And it is producing a clockwise moment about its A. So therefore it is positive. So 20 into 6 is the total UDL load. And as it is a UDL, we are converting that particular UDL into point load so that it can act at the center of this particular beam. Then this point load will also produce a clockwise moment about A. So it is 10 into the perpendicular distance from C to A is 4 plus 2 that is 6 meter. So transfer this negative term that is minus RB into 4 on the other side so it will become plus and we will get the value of RB equal to 105 kN. Now substitute this value of RB in equation 1. So RA will be equal to 130 minus RB that is nothing but 25 kN. So in this way we have calculated the reactions RA and RB. The next step is to draw the shear force diagram. Now shear force at A the conventions for the shear, shear forces are as usual. Upward forces are considered as positive and downward forces they are considered as negative. So shear force at A is in the upward direction. So it is 25 kN. Then shear force just at the left of the B. So it is B left that we have written over here. So we are not considering this point load. Just we are considering RA that is acting in the upward direction. So it is positive minus from A to B, whatever the UDL is there, that is 20 into 4, so 25 minus 18, so it is minus 55 kN. Shear force exactly at B will be, there is an upward acting force of 105 kN, so minus 55 plus 105, that is 50 kN. Then shear force at the C level, that is just at the left of the C, so again we will consider this particular UDL from B to C. So 20 multiplied by this 2. So 50 minus 40 that is 10 kN. And exactly at C there is again downward acting load. So it is negative. So it is 10 minus 10 that is 0. So we can draw the diagram like this. So these are the various values which we have already obtained over here. Now this is the point of 0 shear. So suppose it is at a distance of x from a. So if this is x, the total length from a to b is 4. So this will be 4 minus x. Now we can find out this particular point of zero shear by applying the principle of similarity of the triangles. So we can say that base upon height for this smaller triangle is equal to base upon height for this larger triangle.
So we can say that x divided by 25 will be equal to 4 minus x divided by this height that is 55. So solving this, we will get the value of x. And the value of x comes up to be 1.25 meter from a. So this distance is 1.25 meter from a. And now we know that the point of zero shear will carry the maximum bending moment. So first we will calculate what is the maximum bending moment at this particular point. So this is the point of zero shear. We have just extrapolate it on our main diagram. Now maximum bending moment. So we are calculating the bending moment at this particular section. So we will start with the forces which are present on the left hand side of this section. So RA will produce a clockwise moment about this section. So RA multiply by this distance is nothing but x that is 1.25 so that we have written over here ra into 1.25 then the union over this particular length will be equal to 20 multiplied by this 1.25 and it will be converted into point load so 20 into 1.25 is the total union length for this particular length that is 1.25 meter and allow it to act at the center of that particular length and this particular will produce an anti-clockwise moment over here. So 20 into 1.25 that is the UDL present from this point A up to this section and as we are converting this particular UDL into point load allow it to act at the center. So 20 into 1.25 is the load and the perpendicular distance is 1.25 divided by 2. So that we have mentioned over here. And when we substitute the value of RA that is nothing but 25 and solve this will get the value of the maximum bending moment as 15.625 kN meter. Now we will draw the bending moment diagram. The conventions are clockwise moments are positive and anti-clockwise moments are negative. So bending moment at point A will be 0. Similarly bending moment at point C will be 0. Now we have already calculated the maximum bending moment at a distance of 1.25 meter from the A. Now we will calculate the bending moment at point B. So from A to B the UDL that is acting is 20 kN per meter and from A to B the length is 4 meter. So 20 into 4 that is the UDL load, total UDL load which is acting between A and B and allow it to act at the center. So we can find out the moment like this. So start, we will consider the forces on the left hand side of B. So this RA will produce clockwise moment about this B. So RA multiply by the perpendicular distance will be 4 meter over here and this 20 into 4 will produce the anti-clockwise moment over here. So 20 into 4 that is the load and perpendicular distance is 2. So you can see this is 25 into 4 that is 100 minus this particular value. So it comes out to be minus 60 kilometer meter. Now we will plot this so, as it is a second degree polynomial equation, correct? there will be a parabolic curve from this because entire beam is carrying the UDL. Now, this is the point of contraflexure. Here, the bending moment diagram changes sign from positive to negative or we can say that at this particular point, the bending moment is zero. So, this particular point is known as the point of contraflexure. And suppose it is acting at a distance of y from the a, you can say or from left hand support you can say then extra just extrapolate again this particular section on our main diagram so that we can find out the bending moment at this particular point and we know that bending moment at this particular point is what it is zero so what we have done over here the total UDL from this to this total UDL load will be 20 multiplied by this distance that is y so that is 25 and we have converted into point load and as we have converted into point load it will be allowed to act at the center so ra will have a clockwise moment about this section so this is ra into y first term then this 20y will have anti clockwise moment over here so 20 into y is the point load and y by 2 so transfer this negative term on the other side one of the y term will get cancelled so 20 divided by 
2 that is 10 so this is r a is equal to 10 y or y is equal to r a upon 10 that is nothing but 2.5 meter from a so in this way we can find out the point of contra flexure so this is known as the point of contra flexure the point at which the bending moment diagram changes the sign or bending moment is zero is known as a point of contra flexure so in this way we can find out the we can draw the shear force diagram we can find out the point of zero shear we can draw the bending moment diagram and we can find out the point of contra flexure in case of the simply supported beam or you can say overhanging beam as in our case thanks for watching do subscribe to our channel for more videos thank you very much